Hello everyone, welcome to this very special edition of CGTN We're broadcasting live in Eastern Chinese city of Yiwu which is famous for its commodities and we know that this is the commodity hub in China and today is a little bit chilly and of course we'll roll the camera around and that is the Drinking Straw Museum so apparently our topic will be drinking straws China banned or limited the use of single-use plastic products including drinking straws and it has already gathered a lot of tension on the Chinese social media and beyond of course and today I would like to bring you to the largest drinking straw maker in the world and of course there are so many different kinds of drinking straws and of course made from different materials some of them plastic but most of them have been reduced significantly because of the ban and also for environmental protection and some of them because they are made from cornstarch so edible drinking straws today will witness and today I'm gonna to eat some of them okay so if you have any questions if you're interested in the topic don't forget to leave your comments down below on CGTN's, CGTN's uh, media multimedia platforms including Facebook Twitter YouTube and Weibo of course and we'll get back to your questions as soon as possible and of course today let me introduce you to my guest here Zhou Shang welcome to our program Hello. 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 Would you like to say hi to our viewers around the world? Give our viewers around the world a wave. Hello, everyone. I'm the Tong Reunion Company, the fifth company of the fifth company, Zhou Shang. I'm very happy to meet you. Okay, so she's Zhou Shang, apparently. And of course, in the meantime, we're going to provide translation so that you can understand the conversation here. And then, so you are in charge of the uh, promotion department, right? You're in charge of this. So you know a lot about straws, of course, today, and then you're going to expert. And today, we're going to have today, we're going to go to the uh, straw museum over there. Yeah, let's go. We're going to go to the straw museum over there. Yeah, let's go. We're going to go to the straw museum over there. Yeah, let's go. We're going to go to the straw museum over there. Yeah, let's go. We're going to go to the straw museum over there. 我们所有的客人在进来之后都会先看这样一段影像，再进入到博物馆的内部。Okay, so we're gonna have this promo over here, and then it tell the history of straws. Actually, we never thought about, you know, learning something about straws, but the thing is, it has a quite a long history. This is not a big museum, as this is the largest drinking straw maker in the world. I think that is probably the only museum we can find in this small city, but it is. Very telling, and then you can learn a lot about how the drinking straws are made, the techniques that's involved here. And usually, I wouldn't bring my viewers, my audience, to a museum, but this one is so interesting. And I was here yesterday, and also learned something about the history of straw making. And over there, if you turn the camera around, if you turn the camera around, you know the techniques. Used in making straws, but I would like to start from here. That's the introduction to long straw products, and I'm pretty sure that many of viewers didn't see that before. This is actually many people haven't seen. It's very long. This is probably about one meter. I think it's around one meter long. Yes, it has one meter two inches of length. So this straw is actually made in some countries to export to the European Union for making straws from the straw bottle and the straw bottle to make straws. Okay, and then, so the straws, like this one is around 1.2 meters long, of course, as you can see here. Can I have one? Okay, okay. and these straws are exported to Europe for the beer festival over there, especially to Germany, I guess. You to Germany. 嗯，对，德国、欧洲，然后迪拜都有去。Okay. 对对。And then if you turn the camera around, if you turn the camera around over here, and you can see the oil painting which shows the European aristocrats use straws. The oil painting back then, you can see that so they can share. I think that is beer. This is beer, right? 对，啤酒，然后也有这种动物的这种骨头汤也会用来，也会有这个呃用到吸管的地方。Yeah, so this apparently, I think that is the broth because you can see some bones over here and meat, and they can share a pot of broth over here or beer. And then you use the long straws. Of course, that is not only in Europe. Yes, but now we have a different shape. The difference is that we have a 
我们这里有一个指挥阀，这个是以前的长吸管没有的地方。嗯、这个指挥阀的作用呢，它就是能够防止水流的倒回，这样的话能够最大程度上避免这个细菌交叉感染，保证安全卫生。I think that is a very interesting structure over here. And the design, you see, this is a valve, and there is a ball inside. We're zooming a little bit. Hopefully, you can see that. This is a valve. So when you are drinking, we are sharing either broth or beer with tons of other people, and then so your spit wouldn't go back into the pot. That is a very interesting design, and that is a uh, so this one. As I said just now, it is not only in Europe; it is also in. Some Chinese cultures over here. You see the Miao people. That is one of the ethnic minorities in China. They also have something like this, and they share a pot of wine or something with their guests, and they still have it now, right? They still observe the tradition right now. They still have this place. We should sell it in this place. 嗯、呃，他们这里的这个吸管呢，实际上就是他们自己的这个芦苇杆，芦苇的这个杆子，他们自己加工成这个吸管的。Okay, so this one is actually made from reed, quite different from the plastic one. So we are still exporting plastic drinking straws to Europe. 我们现在是还是往他们那边去运送这个塑料吸管的吗？对，是的。他们是没有那个禁塑令的。嗯、呃，是这边是吗？嗯。德国这边的话，目前来说，呃，有一部分地区它还是它还是可以用，对。但是这种材质呢，我们可以用另外一种 PLA 材质来代替， okay. 对。So in certain parts of Germany, they still use a plastic drinking straws, but now we are changing to PLA. PLA is a polytaxic acid straws, and that one is biodegradable, right? Okay, that is very interesting to know about the long straws, about one meter long. If I turn the camera around, show us viewers. It's a cavern. No, I wouldn't say this is cavern. It's a wall of straws over here, and of course, and some of the with different colors, with different lengths over there, we can see different kinds of straws. I'd never thought of asking this question about. Straws when it comes to its history or everything or the materials until we had the ban rolled out as the on the first day of 2021. 就以前大家可能对吸管都没有特别的关注的，是吧？直到了今年，它这个二零二一年的时候，大家对吸管有了这个关注。您是什么时候从事这个职业 ？When did you join? 嗯，我是在二零一三年的时候从事我现在的这个职业，做这个双筒吸管的一个员工。对。So you started from 2013, and then how did you feel about your job? 就是您感觉这个工作怎么样？就是以前好像很多人没有关注，其实但是你要来了这个地方还是挺有意思的，是吧？对。呃，实际上我从二零一三年到双瞳之后，一方面我自己能够感受到吸管原来它是这么多品类的一款产品，而且这个一根小小的吸管它其实是凝聚了人类上千年的一个智慧，因为它是从几千年开始就有吸管这个产品了，所以我非常的惊讶，然后也非常喜欢这样的一份工作。So you felt it was quite exciting. There are so many different kinds of straws over there. If we roll the camera around. Roll the camera around, show our viewers these straws over here, and they had a history of over 1,000 years. 有一千年的历史了。对，有好几千年的历史了。好几千年的历史。它最早的是那个，呃，在那个古巴比伦的时候就有发现一根用黄金做的吸管，是那个女皇用的。So there used to be a straw made of gold in the old Babylonian history. That is a that was very interesting to know. And if we turn the camera around, there are so many different kinds of products, right? When it comes to straws, and this one is quite interesting. See over there, it is a uh, see glasses over here, very much like glasses, which means you can drink while you wear something like this. This actually quite famous a couple of years ago. 几年前的时候，它还是一个网红产品。对，是的，其实我们是十年前开发出的所有的这些创新的习惯。So、all, of those, all of those straws actually were made ten years ago. 对。Okay, but they are still quite new. If you go into the markets, you find straws like these, and you still find them quite interesting. But they were made like ten years ago, usually. Okay, and you can see this one. It's very interesting. It's like a, it's like a birdie, and you can also see the internal structure like gears over there. When you drink something, you sip from your wine, then you can see the gears running around. It's like a birdie. That's very interesting. Okay, of course, today, 
I would like to bring you to a very interesting section of our live stream today, that is the edible straws. I think many people probably have never heard of it. And like straws can be eaten, straws can be made from different materials. Okay, probably paper or steel or stainless steel or plastic. But some of them actually are made from cornstarch and they are edible. That is very interesting. Very much like noodles if you boil them. Okay. So ever since the ban was introduced in China, so we have reusable straws like the ones made of steel or probably plastic that can use most of time, so bamboos, right? Or the biodegradable straws and today we're going to have the edible straws and so the edible straws actually uh, were put under the category of biodegradable ones and today is going to be a very interesting experience. Hello. Hi. Hi. Ni hao. Welcome to our program. Would you like to say hi to our viewers around the world here? Hello, Okay, so he said, hello everyone, welcome to Sultan. That is very interesting. And today you look very much like a chef. And these, as we turn the camera around, this one, so this is the edible straw. And that is quite interesting. With different colors, this one is yellow. I like this color. Anyways, so, and then these straws actually are edible. And then here, we have a pot over here. I think you can see that. And then we're going to boil the straws and then eat them. Today, we need to boil and eat it, right? Yes, yes. And we also have... I'll put it. Okay. Oh, I'll put it. I put the straws in the pot. Okay. I think that's enough for, for three of us today. Okay. Did you ever eat that before? Oh. Okay, so he had eaten this before like noodles. Very much like noodles, I can see, I can tell from it's from here. So very delicious according to you. Okay, like noodles properly. They are made from like cornstarch or cassava. If we uh, give it a closer look and we can see the powders over here on the table. And this one is uh, uh, this one is corn. And this one, uh, this is wheat, like the wheat we have that we made bread from. And also this one is purple. What is it? Okay. And this is sweet potato. And this green one, this green one is a spinach. Okay. And this one is cassava. Yeah. This is cassava, you told me just now. And this is sesame, apparently. Okay. And so we have six different colors over here on the table. And that is why we have so many colorful edible straws over here. That depends on the proportion of the ingredients on the table. And then you can change the color and the thing. So how about the market? How about the markets right now? Okay. And they are very popular, but, but the thing is, surprisingly, I didn't see them in the supermarkets at all. Just now, I saw them in the supermarkets. Yes, we are mainly selling from the country. In the supermarkets, we are slowly opening up, because the power of 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 the power. So they are exported, like the long straws we saw just now, about 1.2 meters long, and now we have 
We have come to this part about the edible straws exported, and now we are looking at the Chinese market domestically, looking inside. But the thing is, they're not that durable. That is why they're edible, so they're still working on it. They have been working on it for about six or seven years already. 就是这边我们已经在研发，这有六七年了。对，做这个产品的，我们开发的时间是比较久了，因为我们要解决，因为它这里边用各种淀粉来制作的过程当中呢，它的这种耐水性，就是和水还是接触的话，它会容易这种变弯曲，或者说使用性能发生下降。那么我们就采用了很多的办法，让它能够呃，既能当吸管和饮料，又可以进行吃。Okay, so apparently now they are still not that endurable. And then they're working on it, especially for hot water. You know, in China, Chinese people are very much into hot water. I think that is the one of the problems that you have already come across. 是吧？对的，对的，是非常喜欢喝热水。所以说呢，怎么样能在热水呃喝饮料的这个时候，也能让它保持一段时间啊、呃，不会变软，就非常的重要。那你看，像这个产品已经有半个小时时间了。Okay. Yeah, before we got started, actually, I saw you put this one in the hot water over here, right? In the water, is this is cold water, and they has been here staying in the water for about half an hour, right? And it is still, it is doable, I think. It is holding on there. <laughs> oh, that's good. But for hot water, it's still a problem. And then, so how long will it take? To make these straws into noodles, this is about how long it takes to make them into noodles. About five minutes, right? Okay, that's interesting. Can I try that? Ah, because it is very patient. Yes, because it will ensure that its absorption is enough. So we need to make the straws into noodles in the water for a longer time than the usual noodles. Yeah, for like macaroni, yeah, I'm pretty sure that we have some Italian viewers over there. Yeah, for macaroni or pasta, usually it's around probably a couple of minutes, five or seven. But this one is probably longer, like 15 minutes, I think, right? Okay, yeah. Now, okay. Now the uh, they have turned into like rubbers, I think. Like like tubes. Must be very chewy. Yeah, and when I think we need to wait for probably another five minutes or seven minutes to make them into the noodles that we can eat. And in the meantime, let me get some comments from our viewers around the world. Okay, so apparently we have got some comments. That is uh, Marco Frigati on Facebook. What's the name of the company? Okay, they're asking about the name of the company. Okay, Marco, that is a salt ton, and that is shuang ton in Chinese. So literally translated into English, that means to child, to children, <laughs> to little children over there. Okay, Shuangtong is in Yiwu, the uh, commodity center, the commodity hub in China. And of course, that is the biggest uh, drinking straw company in the world. And you would be very proud to say that. And then also, we have got another comment that is Ambulus Kwame from Pond Junior. Hopefully I have uh, pronounced your name correctly. What's the name of the company? That is Sorton, as we said just now. And we also got Vihan R.B. Agni. Well, so beautiful, fantastic. And also we have got this one from Monothurt, Monothurt, sorry, on Bili Bili, and that is Chinese. So this is edible. Okay. 是的，是的，可以吃的。像如果干吃的话呢，它会有一种锅巴一样的这个味道。Ah, like dried rice, right? Like fried rice. If you, okay. So this is the thing. If you don't boil, if you don't them, if you don't put them in the hot water, if you don't boil them, and then they are very much like, like, like fried rice, right? Okay, very crispy. And also we have got another one that is Kangxi Kangxi, 泡在。奶茶里面多久会化掉？泡在奶茶里边。If we put this, if use the straw to drink like milk tea, how long will it stay? 它这个大概能够 hold 多长时间？在奶茶在奶茶当中，如果说是冷饮的话，可以四十分钟到五十分钟。Okay, so if it's cold drink, that's going to be forty to fifty minutes. 
if it is hot drink, if it's hot drink, Okay, it's going to be 30 minutes. So at least can hold for 30 minutes, half an hour. And then that is uh, Mama Third Yi Myanmar Pasta. Yeah, it's very much look like <laughs> pasta or macaroni, I have to say. Yeah, pasta. And then we got this one from Chuan Feng Li on Facebook. They look like simple products, but they are, there were so many applicable sanitary, national and international standards to protect the consumers. Thank you very much, Facebook. Uh, Chon Feng Li on Facebook. And of course, if you have any other questions, leave a comments on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and we'll get back to your question as soon as possible. We have my guests over here, and we're still waiting for the noodles. Okay. Uh, someone is asking, Okay, so they are disposable. So basically, one off. They can't be reused so not reusable ones and of course after this after the noodle part and then we're gonna go show you some other kinds of straws over here and then many of them actually are reusable bamboo ones or steel ones very interesting okay yeah you can try it okay while you try it let me go on Facebook to see if we have any other comments there and Okay, so this is the noodle part. Okay, and we have got another comment that is uh, Sherry Harris Hall and world's largest straw maker and they are now making straws that can be cooked and eaten. Okay, thank you very much Sherry and thank you very much for all of the Facebook and of course, YouTube, Twitter, audience over there. Thank you for staying with us. And now, I think the noodles, not noodles, but edible straws are ready. <laughs> okay, and they look very colorful over here. We can zoom in a little bit over there. <laughs> That's interesting. Chula. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Yeah, I like the dress. And you have the sauce and that is pepper. And this one is sauce and also we have some spring onion over there. And this is sauce or vinegar. This is sauce or vinegar. This is sauce. Okay. Yeah, you can try it first. <laughs> she said it's uh, delicious. Yeah, let me try it. Can I use these? Okay. Can you hold it for me? It's all nice. Okay, let me see. I've not, never tried these before. Um, like macaroni, pasta. And it's chewy. I like the sauce. <laughs> 这个这个是什么？花生酱。啊，这是 peanut sauce。这是什么？肉酱。肉酱。啊，that is mint. Yeah, I don't eat meat, so I can't do that. Um, let me try. It's very chewy. 它其实可以还可以再煮久一些。Yeah. So this one, uh, this is corn. This is made from cornstarch. And the blue one, the blue one, the blue one, what is the blue one? Spinach. Mm. Mm. The spinach. Mm. Both high, mm. spinach. Mm. And this one is cassava. Mm. Oh, sweet potato. Mm. Cassava is supposed to be this one, I think. Mm. Should be pink. Mm. Okay, that's very interesting. Let me try potato one. It's very chewy. And it's a little bit stiff, I have to say, because they should be uh, cooked longer, probably. Okay, let's see if we have uh, any other comments down there. Okay, so that is from Sherry Harris Hall again. Thank you very much. Um, how many employees do they have here? Uh, 我们现在有五百多人. 
Okay. You have like 500 people, but you are the largest drinking straw maker in the world, and you only have 500 people. We are the world's largest drinking straw maker, but there are only 500 people. 呃，因为我们现在整个设备的这个自动化程度还是比较高的。Oh, it's quite automatic, right? Okay, and of course, for our viewers around the world, if you're interested in knowing how the drinking straws are made, and later we're going to bring you the factory to the plant to see how the straws that you use on a daily basis are made from here in Iwu in Sultan here, the largest drinking straw maker. And also we have uh, that is from Nara Long, very nice. And that is Slim Sean. How are you? What's up, baby? And then, oh, that is a Troop Tim Topel. Wow, looks yummy. Yeah, they say this is very good. Yeah, I think they're very chewy. It could take me quite a while to finish it. Uh -huh. Okay, you can always place an order. That is from Duke Final. Duke Final, you can always place an order. So their meaning is you can. 呃，经常可以随时下订单是吗？呃、uh, ，I mean, yeah, ever since the ban was introduced actually to China, I mean, when it comes to limiting the use of single-use plastic products, either for straws, especially for plastic straws, and actually many of them, especially the consumers in restaurants or Starbucks, many of the chain stores, they are switching to the straws are, that are degradable, or like straws like these. So, actually, they are quite in demand right now. And I learned yesterday. Now some of the orders can only be finished before April or Friday. We have got some other comments down there. That is uh, on YouTube. There's Winter Jasmine. All eyes on this cornstarch straws. There is big markets for this. This is Winter Jasmine. Thank you very much. He said we are all now. 呃，所有的目光呢，就其实都盯在了就是这个可降解的这个淀粉用来做的这个，所以说很市场还是比较大的。OK， and we have another one on YouTube that is one kilo Instagram nice looking report. Oh, thank you very much. And also we have got this one. 不同颜色的管儿吃起来味道有区别吗？有区别吗？嗯，区别不是很大，但是如果说你就是没有半调料吃的话，还是能分辨出来哪个口味的。Oh, okay, that's very interesting. So for different colors, and then actually they taste a little bit different. But if you don't uh, put them in a sauce, if you don't have the dress over here, and then you can tell probably slightly because they're made from different things. As I said, just no corn, wheat. Let me see if I can remember all of those things. Sweet potato, sesame, cassava, and spinach. So they probably would taste different. Okay, and we got this one. That is on Bilibili. Feng Wang Ming Ming Jun. Xi Guan Zai Lu Shang. Tong Chang Yong Wan Jiu Diu Le Yu Lang Diu Le. Suan Lang Fei Shi Wu. That is a very interesting question. I have to say that. Okay, so basically these straws are edible, and if you throw them away, does it mean that you're wasting food? And yes, and you're being a long fish shoe. Because they're all made from fish. Yes, yes. It's like this. This kind of fish bowl, we usually use in restaurants. After using, we will return to the restaurant to use this fish bowl to make these fish bowls. So it's not wasted. We would recommend using this kind of fish bowl. Yes, yes. 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 Yes
as you can see it, okay, like this brush, the little brush over here, and they are very helpful. So I'd just say that <coughs> uh, this one is uh, stainless steel. Okay, I think this one is quite popular. This is still Okay, and this one, yeah, and then you can see it is uh, the bandy part of it. Okay, so different kinds of straws, and this one, oh, different colors. This one is golden. Okay, there are so many different kinds of straws. <coughs> okay. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's interesting. I'm I'm pretty sure that many of viewers around the world have seen straws like this, especially for these few years, and we have been promoting the idea of limiting the use of plastic. I think the one picture that has drawn much attention around the world, that is a sea, that is a turtle, I think whose uh, nostril, one of uh, its nostrils actually was blocked by a plastic straw and that actually provoked quite a brouhaha on the international social media and so, so people have been promoting uh, the limiting the use of plastic products or plastic bags or the straws and everything. That's very interesting. Let's see if we have any other Comments. Thank you so much for staying with us. You guys are so responsive today. And that is on YouTube. That is Kanetani Hiruko. And are these noodles healthy? Not noodles, actually. They're edible straws, drinking straws. Okay. So they are actually quite safe level. If we drum around, so that is food grade. So that is the food grade level of uh, drinking straws and the tries of the noodles, as you said just now. And also we have got this one that is uh, Oguandi Ayula. I think. He or she is from Nigeria. Can we find this in Nigeria, in my country? He said in Nigeria, is there any? Have you not found it in Nigeria? Um, Nigeria, has not. Has not. We are mainly exporting to Asia. Okay, mostly European countries. So sorry, not in Nigeria right now. So are we planning to export these straws to Nigeria? Is it something that we are planning to export? 出口到非洲一些国家，尼日利亚。那有需求，我们肯定会可以的，没问题的。Okay, so if you have the demands, and then they're going to have the provision. Of course, that is how market works. And then we also got this、uh, Gillian Hopkins. I used paper and was like some metal ones instead of wasting paper. No more plastic, please. I'm a lover of whales. Thank you very much, Gillian, of there. 他说的是他用纸质的，然后他。也喜欢用这种金属制的，金属制就是我们现在手里边可以拿到了。Okay, the steel ones, no more plastic. Thank you very much. And that is the Sherry Harris again. You keep saying it's very chewy. Uh, lao is that a good thing or a bad thing? Yeah, it is actually quite chewy. I have to say that chewy. And then so because we haven't boiled or haven't cooked the noodles long enough. And then, of course, if it's chewy, I think that is very good when it comes to straws. That means they can hold much longer in hot water or cold water. But of course, they are not noodles, so we are not expecting to eat these straws on a daily basis. Okay. And then we have got Changshu on Facebook for those re reusable ones, how to clean them properly. He said this is recycled. This is how to clean them. Okay, so a uh, chown, uh, we have been talking about that because we have the little brush. They usually come as a set, and then you push the brush. You can clean it from inside out, and that's how it works. It's very much like cleaning the chopsticks or the utensils you have in your home. So it's quite convenient. Okay, but I never, I've never used a, a steel one before, and I think after the ban is imposed in China, and I'm pretty sure that. Probably soon in some other countries, and then there would be more of these straws. They would be more prevalent in the future, and then so let me have a look. Let me have a look at the last question, and then we're going to move on to the next section to show you guys how these straws, paper straws, or plastic ones or PLA ones, are made. And this is a Jenny Hopkins. How long do they last before <coughs> getting soft? Usually, paper ones no good after ten minutes. Which ones work with carbonated liquids? This is a great idea. I'm pleased that someone is finally on top of this. Thank you very much for Jillian. Okay, 
他说的是这个多长时间会变软？呃、uh, ，thirty minutes to forty-five， 三十分钟。对，三十分钟。<coughs> okay, for your first question, generally that is thirty minutes in hot water like this, and then we have been boiling it for probably like twenty minutes, and then it's got a little bit, it's still a little bit chewy and stiff, and then so in the regular hot drink that we have like coffee or probably milk tea, it can stay for at most thirty minutes. For cold water, if you are Not a fan of hot water, like many Chinese people probably, they can hold longer. Usually, paper ones no good after ten minutes. 他说纸质的其实十分钟就不行了。呃，纸质的也不会。纸质的话呢，也是有三十四呃接近一个小时的时间的。我们现在生产的这个纸质的吸管，它的耐水性还是非常好的。Okay, so usually for paper straws, Jillian, that is a、uh, it can hold like this one. It's very lovely. It's quite Christmassy. Santa Claus. Yeah, those that now is this new year already. So usually the paper ones here,、uh, according to them, they can stay probably for about like an hour, 一个小时 Okay, but apparently, I mean, okay. So this is the thing on social media. Many people have been complaining about this, like Jillian. Okay, they say that usually straw papers are not that endurable. They can stay in the water for probably like a ten minutes, and then they would get soft, and then you can't get anything. From your drink, he said. Usually, ten minutes, he just just drowned. He 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 just Liquids 就是我们有一些是碳酸型的饮料。如果是碳酸型的饮料，他在问哪个是可以的喝的呢？碳酸型饮料经常会把它呃降解掉，是吗？呃，不是不是，碳酸碳酸型的这种饮料呢，呃，我还是比较推荐我们的这个聚乳酸的这个材料，就是这种 PIV 的这个产品，因为这个纸的这个产品啊，它在喝这个碳酸饮料的时候，容易里面会有泡，会。Okay, Jillian.、Oh. <laughs> okay, I, I hope that. Okay, so, so he just said that for carbonated liquids or for carbonated drinks like sparkling water, and then so it's recommended that you use a PLA material, straws. Because PLA that means a polylactic acid straws, and these straws actually are biodegradable, and then they would be dissolved probably in about、um, two weeks time or a month at top. At most, and then these straws actually—they look very much like the、uh, plastic straws. I went to the market. I went to the、uh, factory, the plants yesterday, and then I realized they look—you can't tell the difference if you're not an expert. But actually, they are quite different, and then they are—they can degrade. Okay, so these are PLA, and then it's very hard to tell the difference between the PLA ones. I mean, the、uh, polylactic acid ones and the traditional. Plastic ones, this is very difficult to distinguish. In this area, we can tell the audience how to distinguish what is PLA, which we call polylactic acid straws, and the traditional plastic straws, or what we call polylactic acid straws. And the traditional plastic straws, or what we call polylactic acid straws, and the traditional plastic straws. Can you help me? 其实用一个最简单的这个方法来判定的话，因为聚乳酸这个材料呢，它是不是太耐热的？不耐热。PP 呢，我们原来的不可讲解，它是非常耐热的。我们可以拿一百度的这种开水，把这个产品放到开水里边，它这个产品会发软，整个管壁有些都会发生已经变形了，它是可讲解的。Boiling water, and then it will get soft. But for the traditional plastic ones, they wouldn't. And there is another way. Actually, I learned it yesterday. That is, if you squeeze these straws here, 如果要是捏它的话，捏它的话，它的弹性，对，它的弹性会。Actually, these straws are not that resilient. And then you can see the lines, or we call it the、uh, degradable troughs over here. And that means this one is PLA, and they are biodegradable. And I think they are going to get very popular, prevalent in probably a few years' time in some other countries. But in China, they are having, they are gaining more attraction. They are gaining more traction right now. Let's see if I have got any other questions. And then that's a great idea. I'm pleased that someone is finally on top of this. Thank you very much, Jilin, for staying up with us for such a long time. You are very responsive. And we've also got Xiang Yu, Nai Bing on Bilibili, 想吃哪里能吃。
。哦、oh, ，他们说想吃这样的吸管，哪里能吃？ <laughs> I think you can come to Evo if you're not far away from here, okay? And then you can try them. I tried that, okay? But it, they are not like noodles, and it's still kind of reminded they are not noodles. And then we're doing these experiments only to show that they are very much edible, and then so they are biodegradable, of course. And then that is、uh, Jillian Hopkins again. I'll take some of the stainless ware. 就按 order them， 然后这个 Jillian 他说的话，他想要一些这个钢的吸管，在哪里边是可以买到的？呃，最好是可以联系我们，联系联系到我们这里过来。Oh, they can go to your website probably. I think you can go to a, go to their website. <coughs> Sorry, that is a Sultan. And then, so the thing is, Jillian, let me ask you this question: Where are you from? Let us know where we're from, and probably、uh, they expose these drawers to your country, and then you can buy them in your country as well. And that is Hai Hai Mian Bao Bao. 价格有很多种吗 ？On Billy Billy, let me ask you this question, since、uh, that has been mentioned by Hai 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 Mian Bao Bao on Billy Billy. Okay, so I mean, when it comes to the switch from traditional plastic drawers to all of the different kinds of drawers we have here, either Uh, paper straws or the steel straws or PLA straws. I mean, the prices must be quite different. 就是价格其实它要高了很多的。嗯，对，这个不同的材料它和价格是相差非常大。嗯，就比如说像这种不锈钢的这一类的这个产品的话，是比我们普通塑料的要贵十倍这个样子。Okay, so that is the ten times the price compared with the traditional ones that you throw away everywhere. Okay, that means. So you're spending more, but the thing is, they are reusable. That's the thing. Now, how about the PLA ones? Actually, they are also single-use straws, but the thing is, they are biodegradable. And then, how about the price? The price gap. It's this price will be very different. This price gap, compared to the non-recycled ones, is lower. It's 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 lower. The price of the traditional straws, plastic straws. Okay, that's it. Very interesting. Thank you so much for staying with us for all of you around the world. And then, so so many questions. They are very responsive. And of course, now we are moving on to the next spot where we're going to bring you. We're going to show you how the straws, including the ones you hate, like the paper straws, are made around the world. We're now going to the car part. Some people may not have seen. 没有见过这个纸质的吸管，它是怎么做出来的？虽然大家都在吐槽 ，OK， they have been complaining about, whining about the paper straws, OK. And now let's move on to the next spot. We're going to see how they are made, and we're going to have a, OK. So usually, it never happens before. Actually, I think no media outlets have been to the、uh, assembly line. 其实没有媒媒体好像去过那个。生产车间的生产线去做直播的。对，是的，这是第一次。Okay, this is the first time. So it's going to be a sneak peek of the assembly line of、uh, straws, paper straws, I think. 我们是去的纸质吸管是吧？对，我们今天的话就是去纸质吸管的一个生产车间。然后我们纸质吸管生产车间里面现在有四十多条的生产线。Okay. 然后我们现在的话，因为环保的关系，我们每天要生产大概十吨的纸质吸管。对。Okay, so we're going to the assembly. Okay, making paper straws, and because of environmental protection, and、uh, now they are making over ten tons of straw papers. That's a staggering figure. Now we're moving outside, and we're going into the assembly line, the plant over there. It's a little bit chilly. 最近好像挺冷的。对，是的，这段时间是浙江最冷的时候。Oh, this is the coldest time. And I think if you have been following news, I think this is the coldest winter for many parts of China, including Beijing, Shanghai, and here in eastern Zhejiang, in the eastern province of Zhejiang. This is Yiwu. It's a little bit cold. I think it is much better than yesterday. 好像比昨天好一点。对，是的，我们这几天都很冷。其实是这么多年以来，我觉得今年是最冷的一年。Yeah. This is the coldest winter. I'm afraid. Okay, so we're moving around. Where do we go? We go that way. Okay, that way, right? <coughs> It's gonna be interesting. <coughs> so we're going through a tunnel. Very interesting tunnel. <coughs> okay, 
So it's on the second floor, and we need to climb the stairs a little bit. Bear with us. And if you have, have any questions, leave your comments down there. It's a little bit dark, so we're moving as fast as possible. Okay. Hey. Aha. Hello. Hello. Okay. 我们要带这个是吧？对，是的，因为我们吸管车间还是要注意一下我们的这个车间里面的卫生。Okay, so we need to wear these socks, like plastic ones, and a hat, to make sure that your hair wouldn't fall off on the assembly line. You know, many of them are edible. Okay, let me try this. Can you? Okay. <coughs> 我可以不戴这个帽子吗？不可以吗？最、嗯、好戴。OK。就是要稍微戴一下。So I have to put the hat on. Okay. I'm gonna follow their rules. 这个是保卫到比较硬性的要求。OK。好，那我们到里面。OK, let's move inside now. OK. Okay. Okay. So men's dressing room, women's dressing room, and now we're gonna separate. Okay, coming. <coughs> Let me push the uh, mic over here. Ready? Okay, let's go in. Okay. I really don't like this hat, but the thing is, it's mandatory that I wear that to make sure that my hair wouldn't fall off into the straws, the edible straws especially. Okay. So we, we need to go into this air shower. <clears throat> I don't know if you have <coughs> excuse me. I don't know if you've ever been there before. Before you go into the uh, dust-free plant or the assembly line, you need to go through the air shower. And that is very interesting. You're going, it's a little chamber. Let's go in, let me go in first. Okay, uh, hopefully the uh, internet is flying over here. Okay, everyone ready? And I'm gonna... Okay. To blow off the dust. And you can see the vans over here. Okay, 10 seconds, and then we can get ready to go. Okay. <clears throat> it's a little bit noisy here, and this is the place where the paper straws are made. As you can see, rolls of paper everywhere. In an orderly fashion, I have to say. I've never been, I've never been here before. 对，这些是纸盘子，就是我们吸管的用的纸吸管用的这个原来原材料。啊， so these are the materials that we use to make paper straws。对，我们现在马上就要去吸管的生产。对，这是泡水的实验区。Yeah, before getting, I've noticed they have some straws over here already, some paper straws, and this is the、uh, the place where you test the durability of these straws. Ah, this one is soft. Okay, that's interesting. So, if it gets soft, that means it is not that good. 如果它要是软了的话，就证明它不好。我们要试验的是它能够多久在水里面才能软化。对，我们做这样的一个实验。So we need to make sure how long it can hold in the water for paper straws. I know many of you have been complaining about paper straws, and now let's go and see how they are made. Okay. It's a pretty spacious. The 地方还挺大的。对，是的，我们这个车间的话，现在有四十多条的一个生产线了。Okay, so this is the place, and this is the place where you can see how 
the paper straws are made, it's a little bit noisy, so I'm going to talk a little bit loudly, more loudly, of there, and today I'm moving to the place. Let's see, let's show you how they're made. This one is not working, that one. If I turn around, so these are the paper rolls, the rolls of paper that we saw just now. This is we just saw the paper. The paper is constantly turning, and so that means we're going to have three layers and they are rolled and twisted against each other and finally you're going to have the straws over there okay this is what? this is it's a glue and they are the food ah oh, the food grade glue over here right? to make sure that we'll be uh, stuck with each other and it wouldn't fall off, fall apart. Okay. And if you go in. And then, so this place, that is the intersection. The three of them, they will be twisted. And then, so, so I can't. So from afar, and we can see over there, there is a steel inside. I think that the thickness of the steel will decide how thick the uh, straw will be. Then, so this thing that is moving back and forth, back and forth, and then we can see the source, one, two, three, four, five, four source equipped on the machine, and then that would decide the length of the straws over here. And now let's move around. Let's come closer. Ah, so this one is purely white. That's lovely. Again. Okay. So this is how the straws are made. That is very interesting. Okay, so this is basically the philosophy that we used in making cigarettes before. Yeah, I can still remember that some people used to do that and they can roll the cigarettes to themselves. So basically there are three lines of paper over there three pieces of them and then they will be rolled at the intersection and they are cut here by the five saws and then so that is how the paper straws are made usually by and by and that is very interesting so we all make oh they are different so we have a different kind of paper straw over here that one was white and this one is much longer apparently this one is quite long. I think that is like, let me see, like a 40 centimeters, I think, I guess. And then they will cut it from the middle so that they can have this pointy end. And that will be the regular straws, paper straws that we see in the market or at Starbucks or everywhere. Okay. And this one is quite colorful, it's green. That's interesting. Okay. So while we're here, we have a we have some other comments down here, but probably later I'm gonna get back to your questions after this, after I leave the assembly line because it is too noisy over here. And now we can see different kinds of paper straws being produced and so on a daily basis, over 10 tons of these paper straws are made regularly, especially after the ban of limiting the use of straws or plastic products was introduced to China.
It's a little bit noisy here, so probably after letting you guys see how the paper straws are made and then you can see how they are made properly for a minute and then leaving the assembly line and we'll answer your questions after that. Okay, so that is very interesting to learn how the paper made straws are made here, produced, and so on a daily basis, uh, they produce over 10 tons of paper straws over here, right? And then I'm pretty sure that you have seen different types of paper straws and how they are made. And they have three lines of paper and they are twisted and they are glued together. And then they're amazing to the regular straws, paper straws that we see in the market. Or in the restaurant, of course, we have some other comments on our social media platforms, it's a little bit quiet right now. I mean, compared with the noisy assembly line. And that is uh, Ferry, that's Sherry Harris Hall. Thank you very much for staying with us, Sherry. That's you again. Uh, this is great. We'll never be inside. Chinese manufacturing plants have been in many in the United States. Thank you so much. I think there must be a, some difference, I mean, compared with the Chinese plant and the uh, US one. 他说的话从来没有来过一个中国的生产的工厂。And also we have got this, uh, that is a beer muzi on Billy Billy. 义乌超乎你的想象,真是个宝藏城市。Yes, yeah, it was like a treasure trove. Yeah, I think that is the largest commodity hub. And that is the commodity hub in China and around the world. Of course, there are so many different commodities probably you use in your households actually. They are from here. And we just finished the Christmas and also the New Year and many of the commodities that are used to decorate your house during the Christmas season, actually they are from here. And also we have got Dreamong的人, Billy Billy Fa,行要牺牲了. Yeah, I think that's true. Yeah, because I have to wear the hat. Can I take off my hat right now? Because I'm not on the assembly line. Can I now? Thank you, can you hold this for me? Okay. Thank you for reminding me of that. Okay, and we have got Carlos on YouTube, such an advanced facility. Okay. And also we have Yeah, you should dress warmly. You don't feel cold. <laughs> okay. okay. And also we have oh okay, that is Trent and Crisp on YouTube. Will they ever invent a straw that will flavor water as you drink? 他说你有没有? 将来的打算会发明一些吸管,然后就喝水的时候能改变这个水的味道。Is that possible? 其实我们有。Oh, you do have that. Okay. Trenton, yeah, they, they do have that. I think that is not new. 但是什么样的?嗯,就是现在已经有发明一种叫是那个澳洲发明的一个咕噜噜吸管,它就是在里面可以放糖丸,然后呢,插到那个水里面去之后,它那个糖丸会马上溶解掉。Okay. And then so you have uh, something like a candy thing inside the straw and then when it gets in the water, when it touches the water, of course, and then it would be sweetened. And then we've got that is Lucille and Brasher on Facebook. Wow, this is very informative. Thank you for letting us all see this. Thank you. Thank you very much, Lucille. And then also got the Billy and then that is serial number over there. And then how did you add different 
kinds of colors through the straws. 它这个不同颜色的是怎么纸质吸管的很容易了，是吧？对，纸质吸管它其实就是外面的那一层的纸换成各种颜色或者是各种花色的这种吸管就可以了， okay. 这种纸盘子就可以了。Okay, let's move. For, let's move as we talk. So for the colorful paper ones, and then of course you can change the color of the paper. That's easy. But for the edible ones that we saw just now, that's a little bit more complicated. That depends on the proportion. Uh, of the ingredients that you use, and you can see different colors of uh, color rows, color plates over here. 对，有纯白色的，有这种绿色的，有红色的。红色的就是我们常见的这种多点的吸管。And ah, okay. then we have answered the question from Carlos, and Carlos said flavor straws, and then lovely eyes. Okay, and also we have from Gott, 被蒙被派蒙吃了 on Billy Billy 有没有可以吃的碗杯子 Do we have edible? Bowls, glass. Do we? Do we have those? We have. We will develop. We will develop. We will develop. I think that is a very good question. Bei Meng Pai Chi La. They are working on it. Okay. Thank you for your idea. They are picking your brains. Okay. And then, so oh, that is the Jilin. Okay. Jilin over here. Thank you very much. And then, so Canada gets that help take. Okay, Jilin, thank you very much. You are from Canada, so do we export the products to Canada? We are from Canada. Export? Canada export. We have Canada export customers. Okay. I think Canada is one of the importers of the straws. So, Jilin, you can probably buy the edible ones or the steel ones you talk about just now in Canada in the supermarkets. Okay, that's very interesting. I've got another one. Will the straws be able to be customized? MM on YouTube. 然后这个他在问呢，以后会不会有定制的私人定制型的吸管 ？Okay, I think MM that depends on what the straws you are talking about, and then I think that is one of the.、Uh, you can have some high-end straws. 就以后的话，可以有高端吸管，可以私人定制的吗？可以尝试。Okay, definitely they're gonna try that. Okay, that is very interesting. Thank you so much, guys. Okay, that is a very informative trip for me, as that for the viewers around the world. And we have been traveling around the assembly line to show you how the paper straws are made. Of course, there are so many different kinds of straws depending on the materials that they are made from, including the PLA ones like the poly. Lactic acid straws that are biodegradable, and of course the plastic ones, and also the edible ones. So there are so many different kinds. And today we only visited the paper made ones because many of viewers have been complaining about the paper straws. And here you see how they are made, and that was a very interesting trip, of course. And thank you so much for you guys. You have been very responsive today, and you have been asking so many interesting questions. And of course the company is also picking your brains. And so then to learn about what you really want in the future, that is very interesting. Okay, I think that is the end of this beautiful trip, and it's also quite good to know that how the paper made. And then, of course, thank you so much for your questions, and I'm going to see you next time. Bye bye. Have a good day or good night.